topic of the week this week is Eye Exercise Express, a quick start guide to improving your eyesight. Now, this might seem like a bit of a funny topic to our listeners, uh, but there's a good reason why we've uh, why we've named this. And this is because it's, it's something that we've been working on for the last few months, isn't it, really? We've yeah. been trying to think of a way of how we can start getting the exercises that we're doing and all the good work that we're noticing with our eye clients out to the general public and trying to get as many people as possible seeing all the good work that we're doing here in San Francisco and all the stuff, all the good feedback that we're getting back from all the people around the world, how they're doing these exercises and they're seeing improvement. Yeah, and that's that was the basis of our website is we, we were doing work here in San Francisco and we decided to do a website so that more people and basically everyone throughout the world could be uh, attempting to do vision improvement, to attempting to do self-healing uh, on their vision problems. I mean, it's really something that's, I mean, driven both of us because we both grew up not knowing about eye exercises. Right. We both had these conditions from a young age. And I guess, I mean, in the first part for me, it was almost the frustration that, that drove me to want to get this out there. The, the thought of millions of people out there right. now, you know, being told by their doctors, I'm sorry, there's nothing you can do go home, deal with it. Um, just, I mean, that drives me crazy. I right. mean, they, they don't necessarily have to believe in the exercises, but they could at least say there's nothing we can do, mm -hmm. but do some research yourself. There is natural vision improvement. Give these eye exercises a go. Or at least maybe they could even study it themselves. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. And then, you know, say that we've not done much research into this, but here's some eye exercises that you could try. Go find a vision therapist and maybe something science might come up with something in, in a couple of years' time. Right, and I think our most gratifying moments since doing the website, as in particular, I think for you finding people with RP that you've been able to help through the website, and for me, some optic atrophy people as well. So Yeah, it's really sort of close to our hearts, I guess, when we get people with our own conditions. I mean, obviously, we enjoy getting information with people with you know myopia and glaucoma yeah, exactly. and macular degenerate, you know, all, all these people that are improving their eyesight. But of course, when, you know, when I get emails through from people with RP that have been doing the exercises by themselves and they've been seeing results, I yeah, mean, it makes it all just, worthwhile. Doesn't yeah, it? yeah, that's the reason why we were here. And that's I guess that's why we spent so long creating the website the way it was. Yeah. With so much information on it so that so many people could just tune into the website and just get the information and, and why it's so important that we keep doing these podcasts. And our YouTube videos, because it's all about just trying to get that information out there so that people can start doing these exercises. And we're pretty confident that if people do do the exercises on a regular basis, then, you know, they're going to see improvements. Right. And that's that gets back to the problem then that we've hit with our clients and probably with the people out there viewing our website as well is the, the problems we've uncovered uh, are basically motivation and time to do the exercises regularly. That's their their main issues. Uh, we actually did a survey on this as well, and that's what people told us in the survey too. Yeah, we were, we were very lucky that um, our subscription, those that have signed up for our ebook and that also get our newsletter, um, that we sent out a survey to them. And it was great that we got some fantastic response from all the people. You could really tell that, you know, people really want to progress with their eye exercises. They, they want these exercises to work. They want their vision to improve. But it was really interesting to see the feedback that the two main barriers from them and also from, I mean, our own personal experience and also from our clients, that motivation and time really is the two biggest barriers that they're trying to face to why they're not doing the exercises and therefore not seeing improvement. Yeah. And another thing on that survey was they wanted to know that the exercises would work for them, which is another motivation issue. It's like, why would I do these if they didn't know they were going to work? So we took these two main issues and really wanted to start tackling them head on. I mean, just the two of us trying to think our way around this. How can we start getting people doing their eye exercises? Because we know once people start doing them and they see the improvements, then they're just going to continue doing them. Right, right. So we created this audio tour of eye exercises. Mm -hmm. Spent a lot of time on it, creating these recordings uh, in which we took you step by step through the eye exercises like we were there standing next to you, coaching you through the eye exercises. 
the idea was you could then put these on your computer or your phone or an MP3 player and just sort of plug into the player and play the exercises and do them as we were sort of coaching you through them. And the other thing we added in there was a tour of the anatomy of the eye and explaining why the eye exercises work scientifically or anatomically to get over the doubt that the exercises would work. Uh, eventually, you'll, your eyes will improve and that'll be your motivation. But we wanted to give you that uh, reasons for doing the eye exercises that would sort of quiet your, your mind from doubting that they were going to work. Yeah, we really wanted to sort of be able to have us as vision improvement coaches and just to think how could we get other, how could we give this to people without them having to take the time to have sessions with us? Right. Because very few people can take the time out to have those sessions, even less people can come to San Francisco and work with us. And then it's also something that people just don't necessarily have that time to take an hour or two out of their day and do that. So we wanted to think of a way of putting us as coaches where you can just take us anywhere. Right. Um, I mean, I'm a little bit heavy. Rich is a little bit heavier <laughs> than I am. It's a bit of a strain to carry us around all the time. Right. And probably a little bit annoying as well, I could imagine, yeah. the two of us there. Yeah. So we wanted to think, how could we do this? And of course, being here in San Francisco, it's all about the latest technology. So we've managed to, uh, we've, we've, with our iPhones and MP3 players and all the rest of it, we wanted to sort of be able to allow you to just have the convenience of doing the eye exercises wherever you were and um, be able to have the science behind it as well and in, in be able to justify why you're doing it instead of it, you're just doing it, you know, on a hope or a whim. Right. So when we were, when we were done with all this recording, we basically had, was it, 35 tracks, essentially, mm -hmm. 22 eye exercises, and then uh, some more, 10 tracks, 12 tracks of explanation of the anatomy of the eye and why it worked. Yeah. We're actually very proud of this material. Yeah, yeah. We, well, I, st I still am. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and it may come out in, an, in another time. Yeah. But I, think, I mean, it was important that we, that we want to cover everything, right? Because yeah. to this, this is such a legitimate method. There's no reason why anyone should question whether this works or not. So, of course, you know, we know and, and everybody listening knows our learn, create, integrate approach. So, the more learning you can do, the more knowledge we can get across to you, then the right. more chance that you're going to be successful with this practice. Uh, we're already probably getting to the punchline, but what we did next was we sent it out to some beta testers that we had lined up. And we said, okay, here's your 35 tracks. Uh, give us your feedback. And we heard a great silence. Because <laughs> <laughs> guess what? They didn't have time to listen to 35 tracks right then, at least. They probably yeah. would have gotten around to they, it. Well, they listened to one or two. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and they were disappointed. They wanted to listen to they them. They did want to listen to them, yeah. But we, we gave them two or three weeks and we said, just get, just get back to us with the feedback. And one or two weeks were going by and we weren't necessarily hearing anything. And I thought, oh, no. Yeah, but, what, um, yeah, but they, it's not like they didn't like it. They just didn't have the time at that point. So we were about ready to let, uh, release that product, and we basically went back to the drawing board at that point yeah. and tried to strip it down, basically, to the essentials. Yeah, we sort of had to come to terms, really, that not everybody wants to be like us and, and have all this, this vast information, um, even though our hope is that over time people will gain that but some people really just want to do the eye exercises try and see the benefits and then you know move on with their life and not necessarily have the whole world surround vision i guess yeah yeah Str strange people i can't understand i, I don't that, understand but... them either <laughs> so we created what we are now calling the eye exercise express a quick start guide to improving your eyesight and it is now 11 exercises instead of yeah. 22 we wanted to just sort of strip it down as much as we could to sort of just the just the essential eye exercises. We just sort of had to say, okay, what, you know, the, the previous guide was more about giving you enough exercises that you can choose which ones you preferred. You know, it's, I really, right. I really like that idea still. I do too. <laughs> so, but for this one, it, it was sort of, you know, some people actually just want to be told this is the eye exercise you should do to help this. this condition yeah and just do it every day xyz mm -hmm. and the people you know and people just don't have to think about it and they can just do it well and i think we realize that some people are new to eye exercises and they might have a, a, even a serious condition but they're still like well are they really going to work and this yeah. gives them a chance to actually try out our exercises in a simplistic way 
and see that they work. Yeah, it's almost people are scared to dedicate time. And I guess it's understandable. I mean, it's different for us. This has been our world now for yeah. so many years. And we've spent time with so many people that have improved their eyesight naturally that, you know, there's no doubt for us. But I can understand if when you first find out about this, it's like, what? Vision can improve naturally? I've never heard that before. And then you go to your eye doctor and he says, oh, don't listen to it. It's just yeah. a, it's just a scam. And then, of course, you know, why would you want to go and, you know, listen to six hours, six hours of, of, uh, yeah. of a guided audio tour um, on how to improve eyesight? Well, I suppose for me, I would rather do that. But yeah, I suppose if you if you really just want to give eye exercise a go, see whether this is going to work for you. You know, can I fit these eye exercises into my lifestyle like these guys are talking about? And can I improve my eyesight? Then we really wanted to give you guys that opportunity to do that. And it, it, we call it the quick start guide because it is kind of like a computer quick start guide. It's like, it's not the manual, it's the quick start guide. And this will get you going on eye exercises. Sort of like when you buy a new uh, DVD player and you've got the quick start guide. Exactly. Which is just four or five steps with nice big pictures. Right. And then the rest of it is all in Chinese or Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, it's not that bad. That you can't understand. No, the rest of it. So, yeah. But the quick start guide is, oh, yeah. is that first part of the manual right. um, where it's... You know, th these are the eye exercises you should do in order to improve this. And you, you can start watching movies now if you do these four steps. Yeah. 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 But lit I mean, literally, because your vision will be better. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not wanting to confuse the two. Uh, the yeah, two the there analogies there. Yes. <laughs> so we also needed a way of tackling the time management. And obviously this is very difficult for us because we're not there to uh, force you to do the eye exercises and uh, it's also very <laughs> with a whip the, or something yeah right? the, the offer you can't refuse uh, yeah. godfather style yeah. not, we can't do that unfortunately no unless you come to san francisco um so we needed to think of a way of how can we encourage people to work this into their lifestyle and actually realistically start doing these eye exercises instead of putting them off all the time right take away any obstacles basically to doing them so one thing that we did in our survey and also over the last few months, we've been talking with our clients, other vision improvement specialists, and also doing some observation works of ourselves. We found that 10 minutes is actually a really good time where it's just enough to get the improvement from the exercise, but it's a short enough time so that you can actually fit the exercise into your daily life and actually perform it. Yeah, there's often 10 minutes sort of uh, empty spaces in your day that you can fit an exercise into so yeah a good example i suppose is last week's podcast uh, where i went running for the bus right and missed it and this week i caught the same but i didn't even bother running i didn't even bother checking when it was turning up i thought i'm just gonna walk there and and just do distance looking this time <laughs> i didn't want to exhaust myself yeah so uh, certainly 10 minutes is a great time for you to be able to get the benefits and it's also something that everybody seems to be saying how much they're spending on each exercise as they do them right it's about 10 minutes. Yeah, five minutes just seems a little too short. Mm -hmm. And uh, 15, 20 feels like a bit of a burden, starting to feel like a burden. So. Especially when you need to combine the exercises. Right. Because um, they all have their own individual benefits. So it's not even just so much about doing one eye exercise for 10 minutes. It's when you start combining them. You know, we start giving these eye exercises out. Yeah. And we're down to the six or seven five exercise, and then our clients will go, well, hold on a minute. At 20 minutes a piece, yes. <laughs> yeah. where, where am I going to, I'm just going to have to sell my house. And, All right, uh, quit just, my job. And just yeah. move to Golden Gate Park and do eye exercises for the <laughs> exactly. rest of my life. Which was what you should do, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we really wanted to figure this out. So we thought if we could precisely time the eye exercises to 10 minutes, then that way it's sort of set for you, really. Yeah, and the, well, the other thing we did, learning from the our experience from the from the audio tour, is we wanted to still give you the reasons for doing the eye exercises. So we t accepted the challenge of both guiding you <laughs> through the eye exercises and yeah. explaining why you're doing them all in that 10 minute span. And just in case you're worried, we've not done the high speed dubbing. We don't sound like <laughs> Chipmunk saying, oh, there's eye exercises we're gonna talk about. <laughs> we didn't try and talk really fast. We, we did actually sit down for several days and really try and plan out right. how we can deliver a 10 minute eye exercise, give the instructions nice and clearly so that everybody can understand it, but at the same time, explain why the exercise is helping to benefit you. Yeah. So it's really that sort of the two things of motivation because we know from experience that if people understand why the eye exercises help, 
then they've got more chance of continuing to do it. It's just the same as eating healthy. I mean, why would you bother eating healthy if you didn't think it was any good for you, you didn't feel the benefits? Yeah. So it also helps with the time management because we've got that 10 minute allotted space. And it's also, I find that when I'm, I mean, Richard and I have been testing this out for the last few weeks and I find that I'm more likely to do it because I know it's going to be precisely 10 minutes. Right. Because I know sometimes I start doing an exercise and then 15 minutes, 20 minutes go by. And then I think, oh, well, you know, what have I done for the last half an hour? Right. So I know now that, you know, if I'm working at the computer and I think, okay, I really should just stop and palm. Mm-hmm. And I think, okay, I just press play and the track plays out. And then I just carry on with whatever I was doing afterwards. It was almost as if I didn't even do the eye exercise in the first place. Yeah. And in your example from last week, if you had, you missed the bus, you've got your iPhone, you just plug into your iPhone, push play, and you're doing an eye exercise. So, And I even found, I mean, for me, it was difficult. I was tempted to write a text message, write an email, right. or, you know, check what's going on with the website. But I, I managed to say to myself, no, I'm going to take the 10 minutes out and I'm going to do this thing. And I just think it would be a lot easier if you almost had that, that personal coach with you, mm-hmm. encouraging you where, you know, you could just press play and there's somebody there that's helping you with the eye exercise. Right. So a final time management issue we, we wanted to deal with was which exercises should I do or which exercises should you guys do? I mean, we tried really hard with this, with the website, didn't we? It it took, I mean, we spent, you know, 10 months writing that site and all the literature on it. Mm -hmm. And we really could have done a massive list of all those exercises. And it's it's difficult to try and say which ones to do and which ones not to do because they all have their individual benefits. Right. But there are certain exercises. Once we reduced it to the 11 essential exercises, we then could say, oh, for this condition, you should do... And we reduced it down to four exercises per yeah. condition. I think that's certainly the, the the minimum that you want to be doing in order to get the benefits. When you look at the exercises with an understanding of, of what they do for you and for your condition, then really those four eye exercises are sort of minimum to get a nice rounded eye exercise routine so that you can see the benefits from doing the eye exercises instead of just doing one Um, and then wondering in a couple of months' time why you've not seen improvements. Right. So that's what this quick reference chart is. It's a list of vision conditions like glaucoma, cataracts, nearsightedness, things like that. And then for each condition, we've picked out four of the 11 essential exercises and given you a list of what to do. So what we found that was so genius about this is not that we've just stripped it down to those four main exercises so you know you're going to start getting improvement from the minimum amount of exercises and the minimum amount of time that you're doing. But it also means the way that we've structured it so that the eye exercises are recorded independently and they're timed 10 minutes within themselves, you don't have to do the full 40 minutes all in one time. Right. So I know certainly sometimes I think, oh, you know, I don't have time just to do all my eye exercises now. I might have 10 or 20 minutes, but I don't have time for the full 40. And certainly that's a lot of feedback that we've been getting from a lot of people is they can't just take that chunk out of their day. You know, it'd be, I just realized this would be really cool at the gym if I could like do 10 minutes of chest presses yeah. and then do some stuff in the day and then do 10 minutes of leg presses or something like that. <laughs> that it's kind of, it's kind of what we're doing is actually subdividing their gym routine into 10 minutes slices. Yeah, well, don't give too much away. Oh, yeah. Maybe we're in a couple of years' time. <laughs> we'll you, do that. If you just see people squatting, walking, <laughs> walking around the street, you'll know why. Doing push-ups on the sidewalk, yeah. <laughs> so, but because it's with you on your phone, MP3 player, or on your computer, throughout most of the day, it means that you can just press play and you've got that 10 minute eye exercise or 20 minutes right there with you and you can just perform it straight away. So it means that you don't have to worry about taking that 40 minute chunk away from your day and it means you can just do your eye exercises periodically so that you can still get the improvement from the eye exercises. And because you have them on your phone or your MP3 player, potentially you have them walking around with you. So if you're waiting for a bus and you have 10 minutes to wait, you can just press play at that point. Yeah, or even if uh, you're sitting in the office and you know, you're, you've got that 10 minute break, you want to walk into the canteen or whatever room they give you in the <laughs> office and you can just look out the window, press play on the distance looking exercise and just start gazing out. And as we guide you through the exercise, you're doing it 
and you're just standing there and hanging out and taking a break from your work. That's how much better the day is than looking at the, the scuzzy Mr. Coffee Maker on the, on the, <laughs> in your office. So now we're going to move on to some vision improvement success stories. So the first success story comes from Nina, who lives in Mobile, Alabama. And we're really pleased for Nina because we were quite concerned about her. She came and saw us in San Francisco for a vision retreat. We had around five double sessions with her and we saw some excellent progress at that time. She went from the 2800 line to the 2100 line. So we were very pleased, but we were also somewhat concerned, weren't we? It was a bit of a challenge because her lifestyle was sort of against everything that we would recommend. <laughs> Yeah. She was a med- she's a medical student and studies 14 hours a day, reads, I don't know how many of that those hours are reading, but a lot of it. And her condition is myopia, right. so it was, you know, we always say with myopia, and she even has high myopia, is that you should be spending, you know, a lot of time looking out. In the distance, Into yeah. the distance, but, so we, uh, yeah. we gave it a 50-50, we really <laughs> hope, we were really hard, given her, just like this tour guy, we sort of did the exercises and explained why they helped and we certainly knew that would help a little bit more with Nina because she is a medical student and we were looking for gaps in her day I remember we was like there's a gap between parking and walking to the library there's a gap in there we can we can take advantage of that let's use it so uh (laughs) so she sent us an email uh, a few weeks ago and we're really pleased so we want to share it with you and it says even with my challenging schedule as a medical student eye exercises have helped me tremendously to get in a little rest and relaxation for my body and mind. Palming before I sleep and when I wake up helps to calm my nervous system and put my eyes deeply to rest. You can tell she's a medical student, can't you? Yeah. It's like hitting the off switch on the world. So that's certainly something we always uh, encourage with palming, that it's a good time just just to relax. I'm able to let go and feel relaxed all while rejuvenating my eyes. So I think even last week I talked... Uh, we both talked about how we palm before we went to bed in right. order to help our eyes. Right. During my break between classes, I will sometimes go outside the sun and enjoy the warmth and brightness. Just a few minutes does wonders for my mood and helps to relax my eyes, which is always at work. I highly recommend eye exercises to everyone, regardless to how busy they are. Just a few minutes a day is all you need to rejuvenate your eyes, keep them healthy, and enjoy a well-deserved rest for your mind and body. So we're really pleased when uh, Nina sent us that, um, some very encouraging words for us and for everybody else. Well, and if Nina can do it with her schedule, basically anyone could do it. So. Yeah, and, and notice how she's she sort of divides it up throughout her mm-hmm. day, and she sort of tries to grab those small minutes. Right. And I mean, even though we've timed it to 10 minutes, if you've only got two lots of five minutes, well then, you know, you press play, you listen to it for it's five true. minutes. And then start again. You know, you really try and work in whatever you can. And it's really good to see that Nina is making that effort and also seeing the results from it as well. Right. 